welcome to today's video. In this one, we have a water leak at the rear doors because of our own design mistakes. And I also try to prevent corrosion. It's workshop time again! Remember that video I told you about the mildew we had in the rear doorways of the camper van? Funny, it is the consequences of my own doings. I might have exceeded the insulation a little bit. I actually spent three months insulating it and that includes the very thick polyurethane insulation sheet on the rear doors where the rain can pour in when it's raining very heavily and from the correct direction. So it is very case specific problem, but we try to tackle it today by installing a new weather strip above the rear doors so the water can't rain in that much. We didn't have much time to prepare for this work, so it took a little bit product development to find the best way for the weather strip. If we put one solid piece across the doorway, there might be a risk that the officers don't like that we cover the brake light. Because in some countries in the Europe, this brake light above the rear doors is mandatory for vans of this size. So we don't want to end up in trouble by covering this one accidentally. We decided to continue with two separate weather strips, one on each side of the brake light. Additionally, I found an inevitable rust spot at the rear doorway. I am not a professional car painter, but I decided to clean it, protect the metal and cover it with paint with my best efforts. Simple sanding with a couple of different sandpapers, three layers of primer that you can apply directly to rust, and finally a nice coating of the final color. I have learned that you need to stop spraying while you are still happy with your work. The color is not perfect, so it is very carefully sprayed, so it blends in with the other color. And I think it matches just fine. When the paint was dry enough, we were able to install the new weather strips. We utilized the leftovers of the polyurethane insulation sheet to hold the weather strip on place while the sealant mass was drying. Looks okay, we are happy with the result. 